So I keep seeing this plugin advertised to me, True Iron by Kazrog. And the claim in the advertisement was, it's true analog, you know, analog purists will say you can't achieve um, this kind of analog tone in the box with a digital plugin. And I kind of always saw this advert and I got I was like, you know, I'm one of those guys. I'm the guy that's, I'm who he's talking about. And then a friend of mine used it the other day and he said to me, and you know, this is a guy that I trust. I trust what he says. And he said to me, Paul, you should really check this out because it really does sound very analog. So, you know, I thought, all right, okay. It was on sale at the time. I think it's £40 and it was down to 30 I thought, you know what, 30 quid. I'll give it a go if it, look, end of the day, I'll do a review, a review on it. If it's good, it's good. I'll use it. But if it's bad, I'll do a video on it. Doesn't matter. It'll go to the side. Um, and look, I'll be 100% honest. It actually blew me away how good it was. Um, now it's not, look, it's not, it's not like the Transformers on the low. It's not, it's, it, analog, it's not like it replaces. Look, it's not replacing the Transformers that are in all these pieces of equipment. But what it does do, and it's, it's impressive. And look, I'm going to do some audio demos after this and show you just how impressive it is. And look, it's subtle. It's, it's very, very subtle. To a trained ear, someone that's listening out for what they know that is go it's going to sound like the difference is you will hear it to someone who's just the everyday person they'll not necessarily hear uh, a big change in the sound they might subconsciously hear it sounds better not knowing why it does have this very subtle and this is what you want from a transformer this is what you want from this type of plugin it's a very subtle it's a very subtle glow and a very subtle sheen. And a, look, here's here's the best way to explain it. Putting it on and activating it, it gives the track, it takes the track from being very digital sounding to sounding very smooth, glossy and analog. And that's using a plugin and it really does do that. So I actually really love this. Um, I've tried it in many ways. I've tried it in many ways of using it. Um, I tried it on every channel, kind of simulating each channel to have a uh, this this transformer and having different settings across across the board, like you know, trying working out what sounds best for certain sounds. And you can go you can go a lot less subtle on it. You can turn that uh, is it crush? You can turn the, that up, and um, I believe that's just input into it and and turning basically pushing more into the transformer. So you can you can play around with it and get more out of it. Now I like to use it, what is essentially over a master bus and using it in a mastering sense and almost gloss the whole mix um, across the whole mix have the same setting. And this is, this is how I've found that it works best. Um, it sounds okay if you put it on each channel, but I find, I find it's one of these things where you just, there's a strength knob and you turn the strength knob up, bleed that in and just give it, it it just starts to glow and that's that's the best way to explain this plugin so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run some audio through this plugin bypass it switch it on and off but also what i want you to do is i'm going to put um in the description a link to the website on there i'm going to have direct a b comparisons and that's in wav format whereas you don't get the uh, that way you don't get all the youtube compression and the degradation of the sound through watching it through YouTube. So I'm putting all the audio files on the website. You can quickly A, B, and it's like a little button thing where you go, bosh, 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 jump between the two instantly. And um, yeah, I'm going to do lots of different um, on the website. Uh, you're going to have loads of different uh, variations of different settings. So you'll really get a massively improved insight into what this plugin can do whereas in the youtube video what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to run some tracks through and show you it on and off bypass on and off so yeah but honestly um it it really 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 impressed me and 
what else can I say about it? it? It's special. It is a special plugin. And it really does capture the sound of analog in the box. And I'm very, very pleased it does. Just wake me up.